Dr. Alawi was the first prime minister in Iraq's transitional government in 2004 to 2005, and he still has a strong influence in the political arena. He's expressed deep concerns about the ongoing protests, but he agrees that the demands of the people are reasonable. The issue of isolation of people such as the displaced and the refugees and the swelling in Iraq and the poverty is increasing and the illiteracy is, is, is getting larger. Iraq has rich, high-quality oil reserves and more than enough labor, but neither of these resources has been converted into economic or political development. Malawi says the U.S. occupation destroyed the foundation of Iraqi society, and that is the reason for today's situation. The smart thing, the army, the police, the institutions, the debathification, politicizing debathification, not sending people who have committed crimes to the courts, but politicizing debathification. So the country was really, and then the occupation decided for the fate of this country. The current political system was established during Alawi's term as prime minister, but a lot was forced on the Iraqi people by the U.S. in the name of supervision and advice. Alawi sought unity and equality among different ethnic and religious groups and explicitly stated that American democracy was premature for Iraq's social conditions. However, the U.S. occupation chose to form a sectarian system which led to endless political battles and left no benefit for the people. It wasn't organized well and it was done in a vacuum. It was done without institutions to protect democracy. But to, it's not a push button, you press a button and you become a democratic. It's not right. In 2005, the White House published a fact sheet claiming that it was helping Iraqis build inclusive democratic institutions that will protect the interests of all the Iraqi people. Speak to an Iraqi uh, and they trust you. I tell you the democracy is a mockery, it's not true. What democracy is this? This is a show. Iraqis are fed up. Dr. Alawi, a witness and also a victim of this democracy, hopes that Iraqi people can finally manage to take their own path.